All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Let, let's try to be a little bit less depressing today with this. I know we're going to start a little bit depressing. Or at least kind of get a little bit depressing. But you know what? Let's go. Let's go meet up with Charlotte. Haven't seen her in a bit. And that mission just popped up after we finished up with Mrs. Down, so that ought to be good. Okay. Careful. Careful now. God, whenever I make big jumps over something, I get nervous. Because it always usually ends in my horse landing and cascading across the hill. Sir? What the hell? I didn't mean to do that. It's okay, boy. Yeah, you're all right there, I didn't boy. see anything. It must have been a snake. Hello, hello, Charlotte. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you got to hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Whew. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady, snatch at the trigger. <laughs> you make it look so easy. All right, you try now. Remember to breathe. Wait to breathe out, wait to breathe out. <sighs> Would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Awesome. Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. All right, three bottles. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. <laughs> Show off. All right, let me try again. Come on, come on. There you go. Yes! I hit it! I hit it, didn't I? <laughs> what can I say? Thank you. I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. 
Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Sure. Nice place you got here. Take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <clears throat> bon appetit. Oh. Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Well, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. It was just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here, and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself Picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <coughs> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> Thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make. <coughs> Stay right there. It's, it's gonna be okay. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. That was incredibly sweet. Can always use the extra bit of money. Especially when offered. Well, we've been out of commission for a little bit. Now, where are we headed? Oh boy, back down to camp. That's the closest thing. And we yep. go off and see Hamish. And finally head down to see what Sadie needs. Shit, that's a bear. That's a bear. That's a bear. Come on. Come on. Although maybe we should probably sleep after seeing Hamish, because 
he, because uh, Arthur, Arthur has not uh, not been in the best sorts. Maybe we should see Hamish first. You know what? Let's see him first. Oh there shit! There we go. Nothing I can do to help now. Yep. Oh, it took a- okay, that makes some degree of sense. There isn't really a straightforward path, so. Enough of that. Yeah. Can't rob me out here. You've got more guns yeah. than they have teeth. my friend. Hamish. Arthur. Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go to my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. Mean as hell, Northern Pike. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well, is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. <sighs> Off we go. Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. All right. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. <laughs> the optimism of youth. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lure I gave you? Get her out. There we go. Spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell cases, even a metal. Finally found something he seems to like. And now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. 
But maybe I'm inclined to agree. Maybe so. I don't really fish, so I really wouldn't know. Something? Ah, I got something all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on help. now, Tyrant. I got you. I got you. Come on. You got it? <laughs> ah, went on slack. Went on slack. Come back. No, it's a drop back. Oh, shit. Where you at? Hope to God you don't lose your leg. I'm thrown out to you. Real quick. Bastard just bumped me. Come on. Come on. Hey. Come on up here. You all right? Lost anything? <laughs> it's just my rod. <clears throat> We've got my toes too. They weren't wooden. <laughs> you want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. All right, over here. We'll come at him from the other way. Row over there. When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pike? That would be a first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cast back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you. You can speed that up a little. That him? Got it. Got something. I think I hooked him. Real. Let's land the bastard. Got him. Come on. Come on, you big bastard. Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. <sighs> well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <sighs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. <sighs> That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. On me. All right. Caught a big ass fish and had some fun. Yep. And this is about to be less fun. If I can find some animal to bring in, I'll bring it in. Just to, you know, lighten the mood a little bit. Oh. Whoa. There we go. Yeah. 
probably not a good cult or anything, but you know, it's food for camp. Oh, not actually that bad. Who goes there? It's me. It's me. Be back, Charles. All right. Let's get over to the front of camp. And let's actually get Arthur some food. <laughs> Got you there, tough guy. Just name the place, my friend. Just name the place. <sighs> Micah, you son of a bitch. How you doing, Uncle? What, he's finally quiet? Somebody just call me? All right, let's get this over with. How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just then. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you. Though I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here. Take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. <laughs> Did 
Jesus Christ. That was uncomfortable, to say the least. campfire glad to see you've got your act together at last i am trying at least something good's come out of this yes yeah, sounds good arthur all right off we go nobody seems that angry or the worst for wear oh mary beth wants to talk or maybe karen Okay, Arthur. Sure. You don't look okay. Uh, I'm fine. What you been doing? <sighs> Acting like a fool. How so? Killing and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It finally happened. I, I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best at mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see. Oh, Arthur got Please. sick and got all introspective. Sorry, Good morning. Tense morning, eh? How you A little doing bit. there? What has happened to you lot? At each other's throats? It's been a rough couple of months. Sounds good. Tilly? Hey, Tilly. Hope we have a better day. You okay? All this whispering and walking on eggshells, I hate it. I know, but that's how things are right now. Okay, then. <sighs> All right, well. Seems we should get out of here and go see Sadie. Or at least prepared to. Come on now, boy. Who's that, Javier? Hey. Morning. Hard to believe it's come to this. We gotta stay behind Dutch. That's the only way. Hey, that's why we're all here. You just worry about that cough. Yeah, I don't think there's too much room to be worried about it. We know what it is and ain't really no fixing it right now. might be able to help you. I got the horse.
that was easy. Pretty quick. Find it funny how they think they can keep trying to rob me. Then again, if none of them ever really come back, they don't know. Yep. Alright, we got one loaded up, so we're good. Nobody tries to rob me again, though. I doubt it. We're in Mur Murphy Bird Country, so they're gonna try again. Yeah. At least the sun is out. But since we're a little bit short on time, we are going to end it here. So I thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. And when we return tomorrow, we're going to go uh, see about Sadie. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all tomorrow.